Hey, how's everyone doing today? You know, um, I decided just to take a day off from school. Uh, I need to, need to rest my brain. But, and so I thought that maybe I could just do a quick video. Um, of course, not many know that, well, no one here on YouTube knows, but my, that I actually, you know, served in the military. I was in the army. Um, did my time. Uh, got out, um, pretty much just, you know, living life, uh, but, you know, one of the things, uh, that I loved about the military was the stories, uh, the stories you hear from other NCOs or, or other soldiers, and, um, and, you know, their experience within the military, and I, I actually come from a military family, uh, our family, consists of military police officers and firefighters uh before i went in i was a firefighter for a while and uh you know as things got worse i felt it was my duty to to step up and join the military and do what was needed now anyone that doesn't join the military are not pussies uh i believe that the military is for, is not for all people. It's it's its own little thing, and you know there's things that I wouldn't think about doing that others would. So, you know that's one thing I want to get out of the way. You know there's there's a lot of people that are, um, a lot of a lot of there's some soldiers. I would, I shouldn't say a lot. I should say there's some soldiers that that feel that way and you know that's their feelings but that's not mine i i feel that we all have our own our own skill sets and that's what we stick to um uh, but anyways um like i said i came from a military family so you my i heard stories from my grandfather and i heard stories from my uncles and other family members that served and you know <laughs> you you don't know if they're completely true they kind of seem far-fetched uh, but there were good stories, and, you know, they made you laugh, and there weren't the bad ones, like, oh, I was at war, and I did this, no, it was none of that, um, and, um, and we wouldn't dare ask, we wouldn't dare ask them about their service, or, you know, how many people they killed, or any of that stuff, that was just, uh, that's personal, and there's some things that some people just don't want to remember and bringing what oh that's the dragon oh, okay i was like what the hell is that um and so it's, it's very rude to bring something up like that especially to a soldier so for all you civilians out there uh if you ever run into a vet uh or any other soldiers please do not ask them how many people they killed or if they killed anyone just you know, thank them for their service and, you know, move right along. It's, uh, it's just very rude to, to, to do that. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong asking what their MOS is. That's their job. But anyways, let me get back to what I was talking about. Um, and so there's all these stories, right? And like I said before, there's, there's NCOs that told their stories and stuff. So I thought, I decided to, uh, to share one with you guys today. And it was actually about my friend Crutcher. He was one of our medics uh, in my unit, and uh, when we went out shooting, we'd always take our, our, our medics with us, um, you know, just in case someone was hurt or something, and then, you know, the, but the, the chances of that are very slim, because, I mean, by then, you're out of basic training, you're in your active uh, duty station, you know, ours, uh, this happened in, uh, this happened at Fort Lewis, Washington, uh, I can't remember, you know, as I get older, I keep, I forget stuff, but I can't remember if we were second cav at the time, or we're the first of 38 infantry, but we were one of the two, um, the reason why I say that is because, uh, when I first went to Fort Lewis, the, uh, second cav was just standing up, <coughs> um, so, and then we, we were second cab for a while, and then, they end up moving the unit to Germany, and we became first of 38 infantry. So, um, anyways, uh, so we go out shooting and everything, right? And we take our medics with us. Well, 
basically what happened was uh, they were doing they were on point shooting and one of the bullets ricocheted and hit Crutcher. Okay, uh, it hit him in the leg and he went down and he pulled out his pack and he started bandaging himself up. And <laughs> the soldier runs up and he's all freaking out because, you know, creature, uh, Crutcher's bleeding out, you know, and he's trying to fix himself. And so, you know, we're kind of trained that if you see a hurt person, you just yell out medic. It's It just comes automatically. There's really no <laughs> way of stopping it, you know. And so he starts out yelling out medic. He's like, medic, medic. And Crutcher looks up at him and goes, I am the fucking medic. And... <laughs> And it was just kind of funny because that's the last person you ever want to shoot or let alone get hurt. Um, they're pretty much are the ones that keep you alive in the field. If you go down, they're the ones going to patch you up. And here they are putting bullets in my buddy. Uh, <laughs> and I just thought it was a hilarious story because it was just, you know, you guys probably listen to it go, oh, there's no way that happened. But yeah, it, it happens. Some weird ass crap happens in the military. Um, I have plenty other stories. Uh, so I don't know. Maybe I'll maybe I'll tell you guys a story from time to time, and uh, you guys just write down in the comments what you think of it. Or if you served yourself, maybe you have a story that you'd like to share. Um, you know, it, it's always it's kind of weird. You know, the brotherhood in the military is. You guys will always be there. You guys are actually getting in line take, to take a bullet for one another. Um, you know, it's it's just the way your mindset. You know, you, you want to protect each other. You, you know, you'd rather go home on a body bag than live with the fact that your buddy went home in one, you know. And so, you just kind of have that brotherhood that is stronger than anything you'll ever have in your life. Um... I don't care if your family, if your family, uh, it still doesn't, it still is not as strong as the connection you have with your buddies in the military. You know, and the weirdest thing is, is like I said, you guys will always be there for one another and you know, you'll back each other up and, uh, I mean, you even, <laughs> you even get in trouble for one another. But the crazy thing about it is, after you're done and you, what is going on with them? What happened to this? Who killed my bird? So, anyways, um, let's walk around it like like it's not there. So, anyways, uh, it's weird because you get out of the military and you don't talk to each other. Uh, you kind of, you all kind of just go your own way and you live your own life and you know, and that's. All there is, I don't talk to anybody that I went to the mill that I was in service with. Um, I did when I first got out, but you know, life tends to get in the way, and um, yeah, that's just the way it goes. But if any of you are thinking about serving, uh, there's <laughs> there's definitely a few uh, a few videos that I would want you to watch. And make your decision from there. Uh, basic training, I'll tell you right now, basic training will be the worst part of your life, your whole military career. But if you have the mindset that they can't tor that they can't torture you forever, you'll you'll be okay. But anyways, um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump off now. Um, but any um, if you you know if you have a story yourself or you heard of a crazy story. You know, share down in the comments. And um, I look forward to our next story. Or actually, let me let me tell you. Uh, let me tell you this before I go. Uh, I'm actually going to do a review on a pair of Oakleys. And I'm actually going to do a review on an AR-15. Um, there's going to be some tactical people that are going to be upset. Or they won't agree with what I have to say. But when you're talking to someone that actually deals with tactical... Uh, as part of their career, their, you know, uh, and someone that just claims they're tactical because they wear tactical gear and they do tactical moves, but they really haven't really, or, excuse me, they really haven't utilized them against another human being. 
So, uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do the reviews. I'm going to try to get these videos out pretty soon. So, um, I'll see you guys next time.